Hey everyone, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have another probability problem. Here we're looking at the Gaussian distribution or the normal distribution. And suppose that we have scores on an exam that follow this distribution with a mean of 83% and a standard deviation of 6%. We are looking for the probability that an exam score chosen at random is greater than 92%. So as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So to solve this, we go to the FE handbook. And here, again, in the engineering probability and statistics section, we have the definition of a normal distribution or a Gaussian distribution. And it's given by this f of x here, where x is a random variable, mu is the mean, and sigma is the standard deviation. But more importantly, for solving this problem, we have the standard normal or the unit normal distribution, which is the same equation that we have above, only with mean zero and unit standard deviation. And the other thing that's important is the definition of z. So z is equal to x minus mu divided by the standard deviation, and this allows us to normalize our distribution. So essentially, we are going to take our random variable, which is 92, we're going to center it about the mean, and we're going to divide it by the standard deviation so that we can normalize our distribution. And once we normalize the distribution, we can look it up in our lookup tables, which are also here. So if we scroll down a few pages, like five, six pages, maybe a little more, we finally get to a unit normal distribution table where here we have a column with x values that we are going to calculate, and we have this capital F of x, which is the probability that z is less than our random variable, and we have this R of x, which is just the opposite. It's the probability that z is greater than our random variable, and we are going to be using this R of x column to solve our problem. And so going back to our sketch pad, we are looking for the probability that some random variable x is greater than 92. And to do that, like I said, we have to normalize this. And so the way we would normalize it is we would subtract the mean from x and from 92, and then divide it by the standard deviation. So this, if we take our x, subtract the mean, and divide it by the standard deviation, and what we do on the left, we have to do on the right. So this would be 92 minus 83, which is our mean, and then we divide it by our standard deviation of 6. And so this, on the left-hand side, is our definition of z. And so now we have the probability that z is greater than 1.5. So we just normalized our distribution. And now all we have to do is find the value 1.5 in our table. So going back, we have our 1.5 right here. We can cross-reference that with the R of X table. So again, we want the probability of greater than 1.5. And so that will correspond to a probability of 0 0.0668. So we'll just call it 0 0.067. So this probability is 0 0.067. And that is our answer. So it's going to be roughly 7%. Now, another way of doing this is to use your Casio calculator. So here I have the Casio class whiz. Again, this is a calculator that is allowed on the exam, and it's linked in the description below if you're interested in, in getting your own. And so we're going to solve the same problem using the Casio calculator. Now, if we hit the menu button, we have number seven here, 
is the distribution section. So we can hit 7. And here we have a normal probability distribution and a normal cumulative distribution. So we're going to hit number 2. And now it's going to ask us for lower bounds and upper bounds on our distribution. So the lower bound for our distribution is 92. And this calculator doesn't have, you know, infinite uh, button or an infinite concept. So the upper bound is going to be infinity, but since we don't have an infinity button, we're going to just make it a very large number. And let's call it 9 times 10 to the 99. So just any large number will do. The standard deviation, if you recall, was 6, and the mean was 83. 83. And if we hit enter twice, we get the same probability that we just got, which is 0 0.0668, and we rounded it up to 0 0.067. So there you have it, that's the answer to this problem here. If we were to choose one of these, these test scores randomly, the probability that we would choose a 92 is about 7%, given that the mean of this Gaussian distribution is 83% and follows a standard deviation of 6%. So if you guys enjoyed this, please leave the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. If there's a video you'd like to see, please let me know in the comments below and we can see if we can make that happen. Thank you and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, enjoy engineering.